Good morning, guys. Our rig is kind of a mess right now. Here's why. You might notice we're missing the valances up here, and that is because I used Gorilla Glue in those holes, and it didn't really hold. It was actually really flexible. I mean, it held, but it was very flexible. It just kept trying to kind of sneak out of there. We've now used a two-part epoxy on this hole, this hole, and the bathroom TP holder, and so we'll see. It sets in five minutes, and it cures in an hour, so we'll come back in a couple hours. <laughs> Make sure everything's all good. We've got our last Lasco wind machine and our cool colors box fan. We need to see if we set one up here. Is it going to keep us nice and cool or is it just gonna move the hot air that's coming in? Or what if we put one down here? Is it gonna move the cool air up and help circulate it? Last night, okay sleep, it was really warm. So we came back here to Lowe's and our lazy day spread was here. If we get all of our little projects done, we'll knock out the battery bay building project sort of thing. Right now I'm between meetings, so I'm gonna take 15 minutes to test out these fans real quick. Let's get going. First impressions. That is a big fan. That's good size. I bet that'll move some air. They do call it the wind machine after all. Surprisingly, these are almost the same size. This is a slightly more efficient use of space just because it's already rounded. Okay, right as I initiated this first test, I get a Teams message. Gotta head into a meeting real quick, but I'll be back. Woo! First impressions. I can feel it from back here. First impressions? It's not, it's not moving a lot of your hair necessarily, but Got a nice breeze, though. It's a, moving a good volume of air. We could potentially put this right in here, get this fresh air when we crack these windows. We're doing this for science. I feel that. That's pretty good. Better than these little guys. But now for the wind machine. Science. I like it because it's tiltable, which is nice. And I feel like I'm feeling more air. What do you think? I put more air in the wind machine. Stronger. Hmm. Let's go side by side. Ooh. Ooh. There's less motion on this one, but a better base. Oh! I never knew a fan comparison could be so intense. It's not intense, it's in an RV. Now the question is, which do we return, or do we keep them both? We've got this air coming in over here. We've got the small guy, and it's nice and focused. Like, I can feel it out to here. This, however, is pulling all of the air in from the window. We could also put it over here. I don't know that we can justify having one, two, three, four, five fans. It might be overkill, but it does get hot in here. And we're going into 91 degree weather today, and then who knows what in the future. I don't know. I don't know. Our air conditioners also take up over 1300 watts. We're only pulling in maybe 12 on a perfect day, but when it heats up, they become less efficient. So then we're pulling in 800 watts. With the fans, we're not gonna touch that at all. Each fan maybe pulls 50 watts max. I might also add, this tent makes a big difference. And now for even more science, if we turn every fan on in here, is it more than our rooftop AC would be? Emma thinks it would be. This maximum power, 86 watts, 25 watts, and we have two of those, 74 watts. And that back one, full power, is only 38 watts, which I'm kind of surprised by the rear one because it does move a good amount of air. All in all, if we had every single fan on, we'd have 250 watts. My current work setup. I've got a meeting coming up in a few minutes and I'm going to probably look like the coolest person in that meeting. Walmart update. Fan return went well. We'll stick with the wind machine for now. We're getting some oil stuff because I refuse to pay 70 plus dollars for an oil change. Now we're looking for hard drives because I filled up a two terabyte hard drive pretty quickly. Checking out their hard drives, it looks like they do have a four terabyte for 90 bucks here. 189 for eight terabytes, but that requires its own power supply it looks like, so ah, it's kind of a bummer. Let's hit up a Costco. 109 bucks. A pretty decent deal there is hands down my favorite license plate I've ever seen. <laughs> We're working on another project next. We already got the drill out. We need to bring the batteries from in here down to a lower bay. And the good news is we're already at Lowe's 
to do so. That'll be coming up next, and then after that, we have an oil change to do. So probably gonna be a little too much for the next video. See you next one, guys. Thanks for watching.